Hello, this is Todd Tracy with, with another Todd Talks. Today I want to talk with you today about the technology involved in handling vehicle crashworthiness cases. And the very first thing that you need to understand if you're going to handle cases against the vehicle industry is you better have the technology backing you up to, uh, to have credibility. One of the unique items that we use at my law firm is a device known as a Faro Digitization Scanner. Faro Digitization Scanning is a very unique technology that's used by NASA, Boeing, and all the vehicle industry, and we're lucky enough at my law firm to use the same type of technology. What makes the Faro Scanner so unique is the fact that we can literally take any object, be it the, a seat, an airbag, the underside of a vehicle or an entire vehicle and we can then use that and make a 4D model. Now people, a lot of people say 4D model, what do you mean by that? Because I've only heard of 3D models. Well a 4D model takes it one step further and we can take the vehicles and spin them around once we've made a complete replica of it so that at trial we can spin it around so that the jury can see any side, the top, the bottom, the sides. We can cut the vehicle in half. We can slice it up in any manner so that the jury can understand this is the extent of the damage. More importantly though what the Faro scanner uh, does is it gives us an opportunity to understand how the accident forces and the energy uh, dissipated throughout the accident. Another aspect that we use it for is to look at how has the occupant's survival space been destroyed in a rollover or how has the occupant's survival space changed in frontals, sides, or rears. And then one of the, the most important aspects of the Faro scanner system that we use is looking and studying occupant kinematics, which is the study of how the human body reacts when outside external forces are exerted onto the body. That's one of the unique aspects of our firm that we have is the unique ability to match our technology with the vehicle industry's technology.